Julia's gone missing. Missing? Who's well, the one that made it get lost? What are you talking about? Change the markings on her map. Julia! You sure know how to get people worried, don't you? Julia must hate me so much. Julia doesn't know what you did. Hey, Julia. I really am sorry. You are my friend. Done what you wanted! Can you leave us alone now? What is it she wants? she wants. I thought when we cleaned up the house and drove, she'd leave us alone. Listen, mate, you've got to stop thinking about her, okay? You're becoming obsessed. Didn't you see her today up on the hill? No, well, I've told you at least ten times. I didn't see her. But when you were looking for Julia in the bush, you saw her then. Well, I could have. What do you mean, could have? We don't even know if we're talking about the same girl. Yeah, is this the girl you saw? Who is it? It's the girl who lived in that house about 60 years ago. And the one whose grave's there. Listen, mate, enough, OK? Look, whoever we've been seeing, it can't be her. There's no such thing as ghosts. Well, who is it, then? We know all the people in our area. All the ones that are alive, that is. So every stranger is automatically a ghost? Well, look at it. You can't just stand there and tell me it's not weird. All right, it's weird. But it's not going to get any less weird tonight, OK? So get some sleep. We'll worry about it tomorrow. Is this what you want? So you're on the sign painting? As soon as I've fed the horses. Somebody better check the spelling if Shane's doing the banner. Do you know which table Jake's using for the scoring? Hey, where is Jake anyway? Good question. He's supposed to be helping set up. Did you check the stables? Well, no, but I will. If anyone sees him, tell him to find me. what you want? I've done everything I can think of. It's driving me mad. Who are you talking to? Who'd you say? You. I'm talking to you. Why won't you leave me alone? I've got the monsters to clean up your house and your grave. My grave? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. This. Isn't this yours? Here, let me help you up. Come on, I won't bite. You can touch your hand. Of course you can, why wouldn't you? Just, who exactly are you? How's that? Well, it's, uh, very artistic. Aren't there two eyes in forest? What? I was sure there was only one. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, well, don't be surprised if you get to my checkpoint and I forget to mark your name off. It's so easy to suck in. Were you nervous? Uh, no, I'm, I'm OK. Okay, I'm not if you must know. My stomach's been jumping around all morning. Yeah, mine too. Hey, I'm really sorry hey, that we said we won't talk about that anymore. Yeah. 
You're right. Let's go and win ourselves a trophy. OK. <laughs> Good luck, Jules. Yeah, you do. Is there any sign of Jake? Is he still missing? I don't know whether to be worried or furious. Look, I need him here. People will be arriving soon. I guess there is some resemblance, at least in the clothes. Spooky coincidence, eh? It all seems so stupid now I see you up close. But what have you been sneaking around the bush and disappearing all the time? I'm visiting my uncle and aunt here. It's supposed to be a holiday. But I came down with chicken pox on the first day. What a drag. Tell me. I was going mental stuck inside all day. I came here because I wanted to see some horses and learn how to ride. We've had it all planned for months. And now it's just been a big waste of time. So you snuck out? My uncle and aunt work most days. That's why I kept running away when you saw me. I didn't want them to find out from anyone that I'd been out. Well, I wouldn't have told. Thanks. I didn't want to infect anyone either. It's OK. I'm better now. So, all those horses up where you live, do you think I could ride one of them? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what they're there for. Oh, no, the cup. Look, I've got to get back. Hey, do you want to come? It's this race, and if you're into horses... Sure, I'll come. I don't even know your name. It's Bess. Bess Langford. What? Oh, nothing. Um, I'm Jake. Let's go. Hey, Vince, where's Mum? Waiting to tear strips off you. Where have you been? Oh, nowhere. I've got someone you might like to meet. You. That's what he said. Aren't you? Isn't she? Vince is his best. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I just... Um... It's OK. I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, well, we were beginning to wonder if you actually existed. Well, now you know I do. Oh, I've got to get back before Mum chucks a scooter. See ya. Yeah, right. All set then. Ready as I'll ever be. Remember to grab those reins in while you're jumping. Thanks, coach. Hey, look. I just wanted to explain. When I was helping Julia, I wasn't playing favourites. I want you both to win. I know you do. Hey, thanks. Julia. That's her. You know, the famous Veronica Bradshaw? Yeah, the one and only. Check out the horse, will ya? Hey, our horses are good too. We've just as much chance as she does. Except she's won the cup the last two years in a row, hasn't she? Yeah, so this time it's our turn, eh? I wish. You know, this is the last year she's going to be young enough to compete. She's really going to be going for it. Hey, Reggie. You're a really good rider. Stop worrying. Let's just concentrate on our jumping, OK? OK? Hey, Richard, you're next in the new Julia. Good luck, both of you. Go for it, Rich. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah, you too.
jumps, eh? They'd be pretty close to the lead, wouldn't they? Yep, they're leading. Julia first, then Reggie. <laughs> Go outriders. Competitor eight, Veronica Bradshaw. Jump. Oh. <laughs> Bad luck, eh? Well, she did well, though. Well enough to start third. Well, type is a distant third. Okay, so it's Julia, Reggie, Veronica. Nice. See? I told you there's nothing to worry about. First and second. Yeah, with Veronica Bradshaw about 20 seconds behind me. Great stuff, guys. You blitzed it. Now, remember what I told you, okay? Don't go for too much control. Let the horse have its head sometimes. Yeah, okay, I will. But you won't have any real rough riding if you stick to the trails. That's for you. You'll be all right. Yeah. Can I wish you guys luck? Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna need it. But she's still worried about Veronica Bradshaw. Bradshaw? She's all flax. Did you see her last job? For beating it with a three-legged horse. Excuse me? Uh... I'm just going to go and, uh, just... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I was just looking for one of the organisers. Do you know where the mats are? I can show you if you like. Oh, thanks. You're the ones who won the jumping. Congratulations, you're terrific. No, oh, thank you very much. Good luck in the race. I guess I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> What's the matter? For her? That whole attitude she's got. What kind of attitude do you mean? I mean, I think she's really nice. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. She's so nice that you can't even hate her. Oh, I hate that. Can I have your attention, please? All riders for the cross country, would you please come to the start line with your horses now? Thank you. Passes a checkpoint. Where they have to run the flags? Yeah. But the track's not always the quickest route. So the riders are allowed to take shortcuts? Yeah, which is why Reggie's got such a good chance, because she knows the area backwards. And Julia? Uh, let's just wait and see. Go on, Julia, kick her up. Reggie has taken the bush track? Yep. She'll pick up some time, I reckon. Another rider's approaching too. You know who that is. Veronica. Big time. There's less time between them on this flag. Veronica's catching up. One flag to go, right? Come on, 
Julia, get up there! Reggie and Julia have passed. Next up, finish line. Well, what about Veronica? She's coming now. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Reggie and Jules are too far ahead, aren't they? I wouldn't count anything out yet. Still, I get Vince's radio and I get help, okay? No, you're still in the race. Don't be stupid. <coughs> Look, it's Veronica, get after her. There's no point for it now. She's already gonna win it. <coughs> Not if you take this trail, it's rougher, but it's shorter. What about you? <coughs> I'm fine, just go, Julia. <coughs> go! Go! <coughs> <coughs> Not yet. All right, Paula. I hope you know how to do this because I don't. Who's leading? Is it Reggie or Julia? It's number eight. Veronica. But it can't be. Well, what's happened to our girls? Does she need help? It's okay. Marshall's bringing her in now. Reckons it's just a sprained ankle. Oh, poor Reggie. Now we know how Veronica got in front. What's happened to Julia? We did it, Bella, we did it! Let's go for it. Come on. Okay, a marshal's bringing her in now. Oh, okay. Can you hold her for a second? Oh, please, can I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Congratulations, oh. you rode a great race. Thanks, so did you. Thank you. See you all later. Well done. Well done today. You did really great. No, seriously, you look fantastic on a horse. Show us your horse. 
How are you two going? Fine. Except for having to watch Vince try and crack onto Veronica Bradshaw. Check him out! <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go over there and tell her what he's really like. All those noises he makes after dinner, you know? <laughs> you know, I think your mum would have a big smile on her face now. I didn't win the race, though, did I? No, but you won a lot of friends and you certainly showed them you could ride in the bush. Maybe. But I don't think I'll ever get to say I've beaten it. That's probably not such a bad thing, you know. You should always have respect for the bush. Anyway, I am very proud of you. I do have something I should tell you. Don't say it. You really are a ghost. No. It's just... My name's not really Bess. It's not? It's actually... It's Bridget. What? Why? I'm sorry, it's just... At the grave, you were so amazed when we met. I just couldn't resist the joke. Oh. Are you mad at me? Well, to tell you the truth... To tell you the truth, one best around here is more than enough. So he's still go riding? You bet. Well, Dad, I didn't get to win the race I told you about, but I still had a great time. I think I'm beginning to understand a little bit about this country, and I'm making some good friends. Hey, Julia. I thought you might want to come for a ride. No more bush bashing? No way. Nice track, steady pace, no more tick snakes or bull ants. Promise? Hey, would I lie to you? Don't answer that. Uh, see you at the stables at 10? Mm -hmm. I understand so much more about Mum now and what kind of a person she really was. The more I find out about her, the more I like her and miss her. I miss you too, of course, but We'll see each other in a few short weeks. Till then, love, Julia.